Hi you guys. Hi. There's a break in the weather. I'm heading home. It's cold and wet. And my dumb ADHD ass this morning just caught a glimpse of severe heat warning on my phone. Did not realize at the time that my VPN was on and I was pinging some from some, I don't know, paradise place somewhere. <laughs> So I walk outside. It's a good thing I have a sweatshirt on. Short sleeve underneath it. Anyway, blah, blah, blah. And when it's wet, the traffic gets 10 times louder. Damn. Anyways, I finally, I'm pausing this. I don't know. So anyways, I finally got in an appointment with a med provider and so i can get back on a small dose of my sleeping pill while i take a different medication that i have not taken yet so this is probably like number 31 <laughs> but just to get me regulated with all this that's going on <laughs> Because I, I, I'm not sleeping, I'm not, I'm not eating, I'm having constant panic attacks and flashbacks. So we got to do something or I can't continue to try to help myself. <laughs> so I've, uh, yeah, medication is necessary right now. And then in a few weeks, we'll uh, try going back on a ADHD medication that I was taking quite a while ago that helped at a low dosage, not a high, because then I get too wiggy with that stuff. Anywho, on my way there, which I don't remember part of it because I was in a panic and half detached, I got on two different buses and that's huge for me to do by myself these days. Um, went through with the appointment. The lady was spectacular. Oh my gosh, it was so easy to talk to her, finally. <laughs> You know, somebody that I understood that could paint pictures for me that I could relate to and understanding, you know, uh, giving me underlying information that I, I normally miss in the neurotypical conversation with doctors and gave me some hope. It really did. And I'm hopefully, uh, this medication um, it's supposed to be safe enough for a pregnant person to take, so I'm hoping that it will have very mild, if any, side effects, um, but we'll see. And hopefully I can get my brain and my nervous system a little more back on track. Yeah, that's the goal. I got caught in the rain. I had to walk like two blocks in the pouring down rain and I snuck into a Starbucks, grabbed a decaf because I was already caffeinated out <laughs> and a blueberry scone that I'll finish when I get home. And then I went to the wrong bus stop and waited there for like 20 minutes. It was only drizzling at the time. Walked a couple more blocks, got to another bus stop, different route. Didn't get too panicky, I did it. I uh, got off at the pharmacy, grabbed a couple things from the store, and then decided I was going to enjoy my walk home. I'm freezing. I'm cold to the bone. I can't feel my fingers or my toes. My nose and my ears are burning. I have rain nods too, so that doesn't help. <laughs> but it's actually not bad out it's it's cozy that makes sense um fugue what is that word from anyway i don't know why i said that fugue what is that 